welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much thank you so much for subscribing so if you're new here please go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel turn on the post notification bell so that you get notified every time i post a new video and please like my videos comment share yeah but please do not forget to hit the subscribe button so um as you can tell by the title of this um, video i'm going to be doing a diy i'm going to be showing you guys how to revamp your lampshade so i have my lampshade here with me yes we are interested in only this part so we've had it for quite some time but it's old now so i'm going to cover it with this fabric this um this ankara fabric yeah the print is really really nice so i'm going to cover this area with this print and i'm going to show you guys how to go about that if you have your old lamp shed please 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 don't throw it away you, there's so much you can do with it so i'm just going to change the fabric sorry i'm just going to cover it and yeah so stick around and see how that goes if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up like comment and share so these are the materials that we are going to need we have the fabric we have the um yeah the ankara fabric and we are going to need a ruler we are going to need taylor's chalk to, to for marking and you could use a pencil as well but i prefer chalk we have a glue fabric glue that's the kind of glue that i use and then you need a pair of scissors and the lampshade so yeah that's everything we're going to be using for now so yeah let's get right into the video right now we are just going to get the upper part of the lampshade off because it's what we are interested in at the moment it's what we're going to need so yeah that's it and then the other part of the lampshade we just keep that out away for now and just focus on what we need so yeah so this is the fabric we're going to be using you want to have the fabric on the wrong side you want to do all the markings on the wrong side so i have the right side of the fabric down and the wrong side of the fabric is up that's where i'll be doing all the markings and everything so the next step is i'm going to mark off my starting point with my tailor's chalk what you need to do to get the right measurements of this lampshade is you need to rotate this thingy until you get to your starting point so i start off by marking my starting point i roll the lampshade till i get back to my starting point so that's what um you keep doing move it while you mark because whatever shape that comes out is the shape that you'll need for the cloth you know it's the shape that you'll need to put on the lampshade so yeah i did that until i got back to my starting point But like I'd said, you have to mark off a starting point on your lampshade so that when you rotate, you know where to stop when you've reached the starting point. So that's where my that's where mine stops. So yeah. So we are going to do the same thing that we did with the lower part. We are going to do that same exact thing with the upper part. We are going to get our starting point on the lampshade and we are going to rotate it. We're going to rotate the lampshade while we mark until we get back to that point until we get back to the starting point of the lampshade and that will be it so for me this is my starting point and that is where i'll stop so the next thing you'll need to do is you're going to draw a line on both sides to join the lower part and the upper part so you're going to do the same on the other side you mark those parts where you stopped and yeah so 
so we are going to cut out the our, our fabric that we need but first you'll need to leave a few inches above and below because we shall have to fold the material I'll show you guys that so um this is our line that we marked if you guys can see them so uh, those are the lines but we are going to cut so you don't want to cut ex on those lines exactly so you're going to leave like half an inch or one inch above the line and you'll also leave like half an inch or one inch on the other side because you're going to have to fold the material so we are going to go ahead and cut out this piece that we need I'm going to go and cut it out and the only part we'll be left with is to glue the fabric to the lampshade so this right here is our piece that we are going to need that's what we're going to use so um, you want to get your lampshade and mark off your starting area which is that that is going to be our starting area so that um, is where we're going to place our fabric first and try to move it and see if it really fits so um, yeah as you can see it really fits the fabric it's properly we made the right measurements so now let's go to the gluing part so this is the glue we're going to be using we are going to try to apply it on the fabric starting from our starting area of the fabric and that's how we shall put it on so let's get the glue on and we see how this will turn out so after you put the glue on the fabric you want to have a, put the fabric on the lampshade and press it a bit so that it sticks onto the lampshade try to you know press it a little bit yeah so at this point i just want to show you guys how um you can move forward from here you're going to keep applying the glue and keep rotating it and trying to make the fabric sit on the lampshade very carefully and that is how it will be like after putting the glue so yeah So for a neat finishing we are going to have to fold this extra fabric to fold it in and then glue it onto the fabric that way we have a cute nice you know finishing as you can see so we are going to apply glue on that part and yeah. So this is how it will look like when you're done applying the glue as you can see it's a very nice finishing so our next step we are going to fold in the you, re, you remember this the, the space I told you to leave up and below so that's the space we're going to be folding in for a neat finishing we are going to apply glue on the extra fabric and then we are going to fold it in into the lamp the lampshade for uh, neat finishing
so we are done with uh, the lower part so we're going to go ahead and do the right the upper part as well as you can see that's how it looks at the bottom so we're going to do the upper part as well but you want to cut right there where these the those thing is for to 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 ease to to be easy for you to fold so we're going to go and cut right there and cut on the other sides as well that way it doesn't you know be complicated for you to fold the fabric in so we're going to cut and fold as well apply glue and then fold So uh, we are done here at this point. This is how it looks like. So beautiful. We are going to go ahead and put it, assemble it the way it All right, guys. So I think we have come to the end of this project. It's done. This is the final look. This is how it looks like. So you guys, if you like it, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Give this video a thumbs up and please share it with your friends. Share it on your social media. And please do not forget to give me a comment in the comment section down below. If you think it's nice, please let me know in the comment section down below. And I'm happy for you guys to try this out as well because it's really, really easy. So if you have an old lamp shed, please do not throw it. You've seen what you can do with it. So please, you know, go ahead, try it out. And yeah, you'll give me feedback. I know you'll like it. So this is how our lamp shed looks like now. It's really cute. It really looks nice. I'm so happy um, about the final thing. So I'm really sorry for the noise. I'm so happy about the final thing. So yeah. Also, guys, if you are new here again, thank you for passing by. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified every time that I post a new video. And don't forget to like, leave a comment down below. And yeah, so that was today's diy guys i hope you like it let me know if you want me to shoot for you guys more diys on how to make different things so yeah that's it guys i'm going to go ahead and try this for you i'm going to you know put it in the socket and let it and, and turn it on and you guys get to see the beauty of this whole thing but for now i'm going to go ahead and close up today's video thank you guys for watching see you again in the next video bye